Welcome back to another badass video from Network Engineer Academy. And you know, this is video number eight. So if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, make sure you go back all the way so you can follow the process because I'm walking you through this process on how to build and configure this network, okay? Now, in this video, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. And you better do this as well because you should, ha you should have this in front of you, okay? So I'm gonna log into our routers and I'm gonna turn on the port and assign an IP address to those ports and make sure that all of the ports are up and running. And I'm also, I'm gonna assign the IP settings on this server, like the YouTube web page, I guess, web, uh, web server, and make sure that it's able to communicate with the gateway. So we have all connections up and running. So in the next video, now we can start the process and doing some routing. And I told you, we're gonna use one of the most popular um, dynamic routing protocols out there, OSPF, okay? So really quick, let me jump in. And by the way, okay, just FYI, probably you know this already, but for those that don't, right here, we have one network, okay? Right here, we have another network. So there's two networks so far. Point to point, we have another network, three networks so far. This one right here, that's another network. So, so far we have one, two, three, four. And right here we have two networks, right? Remember, each VLAN is their own network. So we have two, so total, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six networks total, okay? So, uh, let me log into this router and let's put an IP address on each of those two ports. Now, right here, let me tell you something right away, okay? We are using a class B private IP address. And I know because it tells me right here, 172.16, yes, that's a private uh, B IP address, okay? Now, when I take a look at the cited notation, the number 30, that, you should know this if you've been in the IT, okay? You should know this, and if you don't, you're gonna know now that that, it's gonna only allow you to use only two available IP addresses, okay? That's it. And in this case, based on the network ID, the only ones that I'm gonna be able to use is the number one and the number two. That's it. The broadcast will be the number three. And that's fine because this is a serial connection. It's a point-to-point -point connection and we only need, yes, just two IP addresses, so that's fine, okay? And right here we have a public IP address. And I just came out with this IP address by myself, okay? So it's not like I went on Google and find that. No, I just came up with this number. And I also came up with this uh, subnet mask, okay? That's 28. And that will give you 255, 255, 255, 240, okay? That 28 will give you the last octet, 240. So let me go through this process first, right here, now that I explained that to you, okay? So, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put on the YouTube, I'm gonna go on desktop, okay? Let me move it right here so I know, okay? IP configuration, and I'm gonna do 210, 15, two, I know 20, that's 20, and those numbers will never change in that network based on the subnet mask, okay? Oops. Come on, one more time, 210, 15, 20, and I'm gonna give it the IP address with the number 10, okay? Now, we are not using the default classy subnet mask. We borrow four bits, so that's gonna give us the last active, the number 240, and the default gateway, we're gonna use the number one, just to make it simple. So it's 210, uh, 15, 20, one, that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. And then I'm gonna go to this router and just for me to make sure, I'm gonna connect the two gigabit 01, got it. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna do enable, config T, interface, gigabit 01, IP address, and remember the IP because I don't. Let me put it right here. And that's gonna be 210, 15, 20, and I remember we put the one the, the, uh, for the default gateway, so it's 255, 255, 255, 240, 
And then don't forget, do that no shutdown command. Okay? And we are up. We are up. Okay. How can we test it? Well, we can go to the server, right? We can go to the command prompt, and I'm going to ping my default gateway, and that's 210. And I forgot, uh, 15, 20, 15, 20, that one, and success. So we are running. So now right here, let's give it this end, okay? So I'm gonna give the number two, and I'm gonna give it the number one, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do now, okay? So I'm gonna go here, exit out, and this is serial, zero, zero, if I'm not mistaken, yes. And right here, just to make sure, zero, zero, zero. Okay, so that's gonna be interface. It's not gonna be a fast ethernet, it's not gonna be a gigabit, it's gonna, it, it will be a serial. And this is zero, zero, zero because we have a module, okay? Because if I go on the physical right here on top, right, we have this module that I put in on this router because it didn't have it. And that's the reason why we have like another forward slash and a number, okay? Just for you to know that. Anyways, so I'm gonna click enter, okay? And I'm on this router on the ISP2, and what I'm gonna do is 172, 16, one, and I told you, this one will be number two, and what am I doing? I'm, I need to put IP address, okay. And then the subnet mask will be 255, 255, 255, 252. Enter. So looks good. No shutdown. Bam. It's up. And right here shows that it's still down because we have to go to the other router and do the same. So let me save this. Do WR. That's one way for you to save it. So I'm going to go on this router now. Okay. So make sure you're taking notes. Command line interface, and the first thing that I'm gonna do, because I, have, I haven't done this, the name, host name, and this one is gonna be RW1. I don't know why I put that name, but anyways. So now you have to go to the interface, interface serial zero, 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 and then I'm gonna do IP address, and then I'm gonna do uh, 172, and let me show you something. 16, one, and I'm gonna do one because that's the first available, and remember, we can only use one and two, and we already use the number two. So I'm gonna do 255, 255, 255, and look, I'm gonna do 254, and I'm gonna click enter, and right there it will tell you, hey, you put a wrong um, uh, subnet mask, okay? You know, take a look at your numbers because you did something wrong, so sometimes it happened with routers or with switches. It will tell you, hey, you know, I think you did something wrong. Take a look at it. Okay? And I'm doing this because I need you to like watch and analyze. You always have to analyze things. Okay? So let me do it right this time. So it's not 254, it's 252. Enter, no shutdown. And boom, we have that connection up and running. So we are good right there. Okay? So now uh, we have these two. So let, really quick before ending this video, let me do this really quick. Okay? So this one, it's gonna be on gigabit zero zero, and this one right here on gigabit 01. Okay, so let me do that, let me do this one first, okay? So, let me do exit, and let me do interface, gigabit zero zero, enter, IP address, and for this network is this, and that's uh, 10, 10, uh, 100, that's, let's see, I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna do the number two on this end, okay? And we have a subnet mask of 255, 255, 255, 240. And I know because this number, that 28 tells me that this is a subnet mask, okay? So, uh, enter. So right there, I'm gonna do no shutdown. Bam, it's up. We're good, we're good. So let's go to the other one, okay? So I'm gonna go on this router two. So I'm gonna click on it. And let me change the name as well. Config T, hostname, R2, RT2. And enter. So now I'm going to do interface. And this one was gigabit 01. And IP address. Come on. And this one is 10, 
10, 100, and I'm gonna use the number one because I think I used the number two on the other one. Uh, so yeah, so 255, 255, 255, 240, enter, and no shut down, and boom, we are up, okay? So, so far, on this video, we were able to assign the IP address to those interfaces, and we're good, okay? So, in the next video, that's where the fun begins, because now we're gonna start like, okay, if this computer is able to communicate with this computer, with the YouTube uh, web server, with this router, I mean, what's going on? So, let's find out okay and more likely it's not gonna work but that's the good thing because now we're gonna start doing some routing and make sure that it works so i'm gonna talk to you on video number nine